Bon Neut from Portugal. It is the fifth annual event of Eurovision in concert of Eurovision Live concert in Setubal, organized by OGA Portugal and the municipality of uh, Setubal. Next to us now, we have the big pleasure to, to, to meet Liana, who actually went to uh, win the Festival de Canção back in 2000. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Four Portuguese words. Yeah. Four Portuguese words. Yeah. Wow, and we have the bells. Boa noite. Yeah. Setubal and Liana. Very wow, good. fantastic. <laughs> um, Liana, you were there in 2000 uh, winning the Festival de Canção. Yes, exactly. And uh, you didn't have the chance actually to go and take part and represent Portugal in, in your vision That's in 2000. Right. Why was that? Uh, because by that time there was no eliminatories. I don't know if that's the correct word in English. But by now you have two concerts, one of them deciding, uh, two of them deciding which one goes to the final. Mm -hmm. Back then there was nothing like that. So the country that didn't have enough points on the previous year wouldn't go on the next year. And actually on my, on my year, there was a chance to go because one of the countries was about to go off, mm -hmm. but I didn't, so I didn't go. Uh, <laughs> but but would you want to do it, do it, try again to go for your vision? I because you haven't been, but so yes, you, you, yes, it's very good to be a part of the history of the festival in my country. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's that missing part that, that yeah, it is to go abroad and represent my country. But maybe who knows? What was the song you you won with? Uh, it was called Magic Dreams. Um, and in Portuguese, I, I think Swedish you, you, magic. Okay. <laughs> Do you still remember the song? You can sing a little bit of it. Okay. Vai fazer o sonho ser um mar sem fim, um doce olhar apagar o medo, a dor, magia assim apenas por amor. It goes 13 years since, since I didn't sing this. <laughs> wow, what is an amazing thing, huh? And you, you haven't changed at all in this, uh, this song. Fantastic. <laughs> really nice. Um, what has been happening between uh, now and 2000 in your career? You have continued with singing? Yes, or always. You? It is my, my life. Um, especially Fado, because I already sang Fado when mm -hmm. I went to the, to the song festival contest. Um, I sing since I was nine and I started with Fado and my career still develops around the Fado area, not so much as the pop. Uh, although many times I go out of the Fado songs and the world music and some jazz, but, um, but mainly Fado, yes. And it has been developing into festivals and theatres in abroad with mm -hmm. some prizes, fortunately. Wow. Uh, yeah. Abroad as well. And uh, well, it has been like that, singing. Which countries uh, are you singing Fado in? Uh, it, it's a traditional Portuguese uh, yes. uh, singing like, is that style. Yes. Uh, which I think only originates in, 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 uh, in Portugal. Yes. Uh, the last few years uh, they have been very fortunate for Fado because it um, started developing into other countries. Not developing, but showing it in itself into other countries. Um, but also with this new world heritage um, that Father was promoted to, mm -hmm. it has helped uh, to, to take it um, abroad and, and show it even more. And uh, I think I've sung in many, many different countries, uh, not, not only in Europe, but also America, Canada, um, Australia. Brazil, so Amazing. so many many different countries in the in the continents. Even. Amazing. What is Fado exactly all about? No, <laughs> that's not for a five minutes interview. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's of course. I think the main thing is the longing for something or someone. Mm -hmm. But also, um, I used I used to say this um, this sentence because I think it is important and it manifests what Fado is about. There we have a poet called Camões, which is compared to Shakespeare in England, mm -hmm. um, and he, he had this phrase, which was uh, the pleasure of being sad. We have a pleasure on being sad, and I think Fado is exactly about that, because we have, we long for something or someone, but we also take pleasure out of that misery. And, uh, and I think Fado expresses that phrase um, very well. It's a very emotional uh, way of, of what I've seen just now of, uh, in, in the previous three performances. Mm -hmm. It's a very emotional way of, of presenting the song. And passionate. 
to eat passionately and you live it. You, really... you have to. Uh, you have to. It, if it is fake, you notice, mm -hmm. and it stops being father. I think it is. It is a bit like I don't know tango in the dance. Um, mm -hmm. It has the same kind of power and aggressive and and sweetness and passion and flirting and it, it has all those kind of sentiments, mm -hmm. feelings, and and if you fake them, you will notice that it, yeah. that there is a fake. And uh, in in Faro, I think that's the same thing. Do, do you think that? Only Portuguese singers can sing Fado, or would it also be, for instance, like a German singer could sing Fado? I actually do some workshops abroad for some musicians mm -hmm. that want to know more about Fado, and I've heard a Finnish girl singing Fado. Her name is Nora Vaura. I've teached her, uh, so her first introduction to Fado was through mm -hmm. me, but then she started also to, to learn more about it, and I know she's a Fadista. I, I don't think she has ever been to Portugal. But she totally understood what Faro is about, and even mm -hmm. though, uh, of course, she knew what she was singing about, but but she doesn't know the exact words, but she can have the feeling. So, so, of course, if we say about the language, mm -hmm. you need to be Portuguese to understand, yeah. or you need to know Portuguese to understand what you, what you're truly thinking, uh, singing about. But um, but I do believe it, it is possible to sing Faro if you're if Not you're a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does that, that lady you mentioned before in, from Finland sing yes. that in Portuguese? She sings in Portuguese and I know she wow. puts some photos in her own repertoire in, in her concerts and, uh, and she's very good. Amazing. Uh, um, <laughs> after 2000, uh, let's see, have you been following the Eurovision Song Contest a bit more? Yes, the last few years unfortunately, uh, the last two or three years due to more personal issues mm -hmm. and more work at home, uh, I couldn't follow it. As much as I would when I when I was younger, mm -hmm. but uh, but I always try to, to know what's happening, and I've been a bit uh, I have had a bit of disillusion um, mm -hmm. with with the contest because I'm I'm all pro and all forward to a, a contest where the countries represent themselves and what they do best in their own culture, yes. and I think the the Eurovision Festival is turning into a mix of, um, not a mix, into almost a all same kind of uh, songs and culture into mm -hmm. one concert and and for me that's not what Eurovision should be about. It should be about, okay, what's what do Portuguese people sing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to hear that. What do Finnish people sing? I would like to hear that. And not everyone singing in English and dancing the same kind of um, melodies or rhythms. Um, so, so I've been a bit disillusioned with yeah, the, yeah, but I think Portu Portugal is, is quite well in doing that, bringing their culture to Eurovision. Yes, m mainly the last years I think they, they always try to put a Portuguese guitar on the songs mm -hmm. and show something. Also the Greeks uh, always do a bit of that and, and, the, and the Turkish. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but, but many many countries don't, don't do that so, so much and of course also we have good and bad mm. performers going going there, as yes, all the countries do some better years and some worse years. But uh, but I'm proud that Portugal many times do try at least to to, to introduce some of something of the Portuguese yeah. culture. And of course our culture is not only father, we also have other musical cultures in Portugal that can also be shown uh, on the Eurovision. Can you mention them? What, what, uh, folklore, what? mainly folklore. I think okay. one of the, one of our best positions in in um, in the Eurovision contest was with Lucy Muniz, and she she sang a a, fol a kind of folklore song, mm -hmm. and it was very happy and outgoing and completely different from Father, and also mm -hmm. very representative of what Portugal is. Um, do you only sing Fado or you also have other songs, other, other musical styles you sing? Uh, sometimes a uh, bit of jazz, I'll, uh, I would like to, to sing it more, but uh, mainly Fado, but a bit mm -hmm. of jazz and, and a lot of world music also, sometimes in, in other languages with mm -hmm. some cooperations between different musicians uh, from Excellent. different countries, like England, Palestine, Sweden, and then I sing in their languages wow. or or with their kinds of music and amazing. it's interesting. Amazing, amazing. Well, it's, it's nice really, really nice to, to chat with you about this because it's not, not yeah. very often we have a chance to speak to a father singer. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. And, and uh, for, for Portugal at Eurovision itself, have you got, uh, what is in your opinion the best entry from Portugal at Eurovision? Oh, 
<laughs> it's been some long years, but I, I pre in the last few years, in the last, I don't know, 10 to, to 15 years, I really appreciate one colleague that I only met today, um, which is Vani Fernandez, I say, I think she really made a good a good job out there. The Senora de Mar. Yes, mm -hmm. beautiful song and beautiful performance, I think. What are your future projects coming up? Um, I'm just um, finishing a CD, Fado CD, and uh, hopefully it will be released between October and November, and then it will be uh, to bring it. And Fantastic. I hope you come to Germany, the Netherlands, or more I, Northern I, Europe. Mm, Many times I went to Germany. A few mm -hmm. years ago, I was almost always in Germany. It has been wonderful, wonderful audience, and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes little cities, very um, accommodating. Uh, accommodating, very kind. Welcoming, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. exactly. That's how it's we also feel here wonderful. in Portugal. That's also very nice. <laughs> Uh, we wish you the best of luck, but before we go, uh, can you tell, uh, do you have a website that people can find out more about yes, you? Yes, lianafado.com So liana minus fado or? No, it's just uh, all one together, word. yeah, one word. lianafado.com liana yes. Liana, thank you very much, all the best of luck thank for you your very career much. and very nice to meet you. All the best of luck for the long future of the Eurovision contest and the, all of us who like it. Thank you very much. <laughs>